David Bulger and the cast of The Wolf and Peter from Cush Game Dance Theatre. An amazing show, two sold out shows here backstage. And I've seen it three times now and it just gets better and better. So how has it been for you? Oh, it's been great. Uh, yeah. Longford audience has been fantastic. So yeah, great crowd. Uh, really excited uh, to be here. And uh, the audience were really vocal during mm. the show, which was really great. So we were really pleased with it. Excellent. And we were just chatting there, I think in 2015 it was first developed. Mm -hmm. So it's just been yeah, building and building. Yeah, it's been going around a, a, a 16 venue tour uh, this time around, which has been really great. So kind of just at the beginning of it. So it's really nice to, to have uh, you know, these shows under our belt, as it were, and taking away all that energy. So yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's been great. Excellent. And after the NASC venues, then you're off to Australia. We are, yeah. yeah. Sydney Opera House. <laughs> <laughs> There's something really magical. I think, like listening to the kids coming out of the out of the auditorium, they all have their little favourite bits and their favourite characters. And um, so what is it that you think is that little touch of magic in it? I think they all can identify with one of us. Um, yeah, mm. I'm happy that we started asking um, who was your favorite character because when we started, they just asked who was your favorite animal, and I was like, well, Peter can be your favorite. <laughs> 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 no, I think they can identify with the story. You know, mm. I think we don't talk down to them either. You know, it's it's quite a sophisticated story, and we we give them the respect that we think they can come along on that and, and find their own way through it. You know, there's some ambiguities in there that they have to resolve for themselves and I think that, that little challenge for them draws them in even more than, than if they're just told this bit is that and this bit is that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And that's really nice for them to be able to you know, decide for themselves if the wolf is a good guy or a bad guy, yeah, yeah. the hunters are good or bad. But, this. Yeah. Some quite complex themes mm -hmm. as well for them to kind of decipher for themselves. Yeah. Um, and I think also with the characters, they can perhaps identify with them or want to be them. Mm -hmm. yeah. You yeah. know, like I think when the wolf dances when you were doing your windmill, your windmill, oh, yeah, they, they were going crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And I just had an image of them, you know, out in the foyer trying it <laughs> or back in the classroom. It's maybe maybe also the fact that we allow them to be vocal during the show yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. something that we really encourage yeah. them to do. So then the the, the thought process it's just loud as yes. well, you know, and they hear yeah. the other kids reacting to it, so it yeah. becomes a conversation. Yeah, yeah, and that mm -hmm. probably carries outside of the theater. And they kind of look, it seems like sometimes they don't feel like they're in the theater, or that way. they're just like yeah. in this space in their own, they're and they're moving in their chair and they're back and mm -hmm. forth and everything, yeah. you know that way. Yeah, so it's just like yeah, this magical place for them. And I think it's fabulous for them to see the piano being played yeah. live on stage yeah. as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lovely piece to play. Mm. Really good. And some parents on the way in yesterday were saying that they used to listen to the record of the music. Yeah. So for them, it was a real trip down memory lane Absolutely, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much for bringing such a fabulous show to us and all the best with the rest of the tour. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.